Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Photoshop brushes and use them in your own work. Let's get started. So the first step is to download some Photoshop brushes. If you don't have any already, feel free to grab the project files now to get some free brushes to help you get going. Typically, Photoshop brushes are packaged into a zip file with other files like product and usage information. The actual brush file is going to have a .abr file extension. So the first thing that you need to do is extract the contents of your zip file into a folder on your computer. I'll just extract mine to the desktop so they're easy to find. Now, there are two main ways to load brushes in Photoshop. The first and most simple way is to drag and drop the .abr file into the Photoshop window. Now when I select my brush tool and go into my brushes up here, you can see that the brushes have been loaded in. Another way is to click Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, and make sure you have brushes selected under Preset Type. Then all you have to do is click the Load button, find your brushes, and double click them to load them in Photoshop. I'm not actually going to double click because I've already loaded my brushes in. Now that the brushes are loaded in, we'll go into our document and see how to use them. So I'm going to press B to select my brush tool and select one of my brushes up here. Now you'll notice that it might be a little too big for you. If it's too big, you can simply press the left square bracket key over and over until it's the right size. You'll find that key just to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. You can also press the right square bracket key to increase the size of your brush. Now you can just click and paint like usual. I'm going to undo that and share with you a few tips that will help speed up your workflow and help you work in a less destructive way. I like to create a new layer for each brush stroke I make by pressing Ctrl Alt Shift N. Now when you paint on your canvas, each brush will be on its own layer. That way you can move them individually without affecting the rest of the layers. This is also helpful because you can double click the layer in the layers palette to open the layer style dialog. Then you can change the color using the color overlay effect. You can also apply any of these other effects to your brush stroke. Lastly, if you're feeling adventurous, you can go into the brush palette and play with all the advanced settings to automate things like scale, rotation, and transparency. You can see now that I've turned these items on that when I paint, my brush stroke does some really cool things. A lot of people think brushes are just like stamps, and they can be really useful that way, but when you get into the more advanced settings, you can quickly create some really unique effects. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.